Oops, I shaded it wrong. Hey guys, and welcome back to Simply Cheyenne. And I'm sorry this video is a little bit late. I have literally just filmed it today, and that's why it's a little bit late. I'm not feeling 100%. I've been sick for the past three days now and so I haven't really been thinking about YouTube and what I'm going to be posting and stuff so I'm sorry that this video is a little bit late but just bear with me guys I'm sorry if my hair doesn't look the nicest I have just had a shower to maybe sort myself out a little bit make me feel a little bit better but it hasn't really worked so bear Wait. with me guys I was going to be doing a water wall challenge but I am ill and it hasn't stopped raining all day, so I thought maybe not. Let's just leave that for maybe a couple of weeks later when I'm feeling better. So, you know. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing uh, the 3D drawing challenge. And basically how this challenge works is I'm going to be attempting to draw three different 3D drawings. So if you don't know what they are, it's sort of like, I've got some easy ones up here, but it's sort of like these, and it makes like it looks like it's got stairs going down, a hole in it, and if you get even more advanced, it's like tarantulas, and like they look completely real and stuff like that, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Before we get started, click like to see more videos like this, comment down below what sort of challenge you want me to do in the future or very soon, and if you haven't yet or are new to my channel, subscribe, obviously, to become a member of my YouTube family. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my three sheets of plain paper, plain white paper. I have my pencil, and this pencil does all my artwork with me. And I, it might sound silly, but I call it a magic pencil, just because every time I use it, all my artwork goes correctly. So I'm hoping these will. And I have my art box in case I need to colour anything in. And inside, way, is basically just a big massive art box. And I normally bring this into my school to do art exams. When we have art exams, I bring them in a bag, put them in my locker, and then just get them out when the art exam comes and stuff like that. So the first one I'm going to be doing is the very top one going to be attempting that the whole so, I'm scared okay so my first step is to draw a square draw a slanting line Okay, so I have to draw sort of like a box thing. I'll show you what it's... I don't really have to display it, but it's sort of like a... So there's a line. It's like a... So there's a box. So there's a square. And then there's a lot... So there's the square. And there's, a sl there's the slanting line. There's like a box that goes with that. <laughs> And now it is just repeating itself, so I'm going to be doing it again. I'm going to be doing the same thing again. Draw narrow line. So it says to use a fine line of black pen, but I'm just going to be using it in pencil.
shadow him with pencil. Okay, so I think that was a uh, thumbs down. It was harder than I thought without the right things to use. Okay, if you're going to attempt to do this, make sure you have a ruler, a pencil, fine black liner and a marker pen. That's black. That's thick. Otherwise, it will turn out like this if you just use pencil. When it's supposed to look like the second this. one I'm going to be doing is going to be... Yes, it is going to be this very easy stairs. And I was going to be doing a hard one, but I chickened out. Sorry, guys. I might do a hard one on the final round, but I'm going to be doing this one. Sorry. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, so I'm going to be needing to draw a rectangle. Lines going all the way down. This sort of zigzag pattern going all the way down. Back to the pens. I haven't got a bloody marker pen with me right now. Great. I guess I'm going to have to dip into this since you know what happened last time. Not using pencil. I want to get a pass. At least one. So I'm going to be using this very run down black pencil. Oh, ow. Almost got my fingers off. Right, anyway, let's get... Shade in the step. I want to draw a diagonal line. Okay, so I think it was, I'm not really sure about this one, so also comment down below what you think of this one, whether I failed at it or, you know, so this is mine, and it's normally meant to go like that, so it goes like that, sort of, but, oh my god, this lighting, so like that, but then that's it like that, so let's show you on this piece of paper, it's like, it's supposed to look like, I did okay, but anyway, moving on to the, Final so I've decided to do this one. You can't really see it as well, but I've, I've decided to do that one. Uh, let's just see how this goes. Draw a line of four dots. Piece it three more times. A bigger dot in the middle of each of these. So basically, as man said in the showing, you draw a bigger dot in each of these. The centre square, so it would be what? this dot, 
this dot, this dot, and this dot. From oh, so from the whole thing, from the centre square, so the four dots, in, the four little dots in the middle. Um, pair them up with the bigger dot that's diagonal to them, but on outside, not inside. Draw them with a hook as it goes around the bigger dots. The man said, so do that. I have to explain this, so this is what the next step is. I don't know how to explain this either, but this is the next step. <laughs> Not the TV show. So I've already messed it up. I haven't even done the third, this, the step I'm trying to explain to you. I haven't done it right. I didn't do it right when I showed you in the demonstration. I'm looking back at it now on the iPad. That's what it's supposed to look like. It looks nothing like that. I've done it completely wrong. I'm going to call this one a big fat fail. Fail. I'm just going to leave it at that. Failed. I failed that one. Hey and guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye for now.